No, I don't have a case ID number. Uh, you need to help me with your first name and your last name so I can pull out your information. And oh. I will explain you for what reason you received this voice message. What? Okay, my name's Amanda. Tell your first name. You said your first name is Amanda, that's correct? Yeah, A M A N D A. Your last name? Jones. How do you spell that? J O N E S. And Ms. Jones, what is your zip code? It's 98272. 98272, that's correct? Yes. Thank you very much, Ms. Ms. Jones, please stay on the line. I can quickly pull out your information, your affidavit, and the case file that I can help you. For what reason you received this call and what is this all? Please stay on the line. I'm okay. I'm on for the next 30 seconds, but I will be right back. Okay. Thank you very much. Kindly stay on the line. I'm hiding in my son's room for the quiet. Thanks for holding the line. Are you there, Liz? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Well, Ms. Jones? Yeah. Is your middle initial like J as in Joker? I don't have a middle initial. No problem, Miss. Well, Miss, at this moment I'm talking about there is a legal case file against you a name by the Internal Revenue Service and under which you are listed as a primary suspect. So do you have a pen and a paper so you can write it down first your case ID number and after that I will explain you for what reason you received this call and what is your case concern. Okay, hang on. I gotta get something to write with. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still. Okay. Okay, I have a pen. Okay, Miss, are you talking on speakerphone? Sorry? Please turn off your speakerphone, Miss. I cannot hear you anything. I'm not on speakerphone. C. H. Six? Okay, CH seven six two nine five. Okay. My dad does my taxes for me, so you should probably throw him in jail if you're going to throw someone in jail. Okay, so you mean to, you're telling me that your dad is, does your taxes every year? Yeah, my dad does my taxes. Okay. I will ask you some question, Miss. For the year of 2013, who does your taxes, who filed your taxes? My dad did. Okay. For the year of 2014, who does your taxes? I told you, my dad does my taxes like every year. Every year? Yeah. So, miss, is your dad professional? Is he having any kind of professional degree like CPA? Is he having any kind of degree like accountant? Is he know how to file the taxes? No, he's just really smart. Okay. So, at 
this moment let me tell you miss first thing which you need to understand that irs is not denying that you did file your taxes every 5 years there will be a re audit on each and every account when irs re audit on your account that time we found out you file your taxes every year on time but while filing your taxes we found out lots of mistakes as well miscalculations in your tax account i don't think my dad makes mistakes miss that is the reason we placed you this call so you should call us back and on this recorded conversation we'll ask you each and every question and after that we should forward this recording to the federal court uh -huh. so well let me tell you something david with me i have the legal affidavit with me uh -huh. which is issued by the irs against your name i'm yeah. going to read this legal affidavit to you because after reading this legal affidavit you will get a clear picture what is your case and what is this all about Okay, just so you know, my dad, my dad says the IRS is stupid and they make mistakes all the time. So, I'm not worried about it because I know my dad always does my taxes correctly. No problem. So, I have this recording with me. I'm going to forward this recording to the federal court. Uh-huh. So, make sure hire a good criminal lawyer for yourself. I don't need a criminal lawyer. Like we did everything right. My dad always does my taxes right. Forty-five minutes. You don't have to yell at me. You will come to know within the next forty-five minutes. Don't yell at me, sir. You don't have to yell at me. I guess he didn't want to play with someone who wasn't going to give him any money. That's too bad.